because I like to watch all of the people do the walk of shame, holding their costumes. I, I make a whole day of it. I love it. Um, I didn't I didn't do the walk of shame last year, but I did I did wake up next to a guy in a rover costume. <laughs> and I'll be the first to say there's nothing that really makes you reevaluate your life like waking up that, uh, to a Sesame Street character. It's, it's unsettling. Um, so my parents are here. Um, they actually just celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary. Give it up for them. Um, my dad is British. Um, he his accent is kind of faded, but and we go back and we visit um, his family every year, and it's like magically the second he steps off the plane, he's like. Jiminy Cricket, it's bloody cold out here. Good thing I've got my knickers. Dad, you have never said any of those things. Why are you all of a sudden in Oliver? Um, fun fact, though, about Tony, that's what we call him. He was, he was born in Kenya, and he lived there until he was 15. So, technically, I am a white African British American Jew. <laughs> They did not have that bubble when I took the SATs. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I tell people that, it, they, they get so thrown off. They're like, whoa, they make British Jews? <laughs> That's a thing? I'm like, yeah. I, yeah. Um, and my mom is a life coach. Which is like, that's like the best middle ground between a friend and a therapist. Because she can be like, yeah, I will help you make your life less shitty. But she can also be like, uh-uh, that is too heavy. I, you need more than yoga and, and a goal list. Right? You need to seek some professional help. Um, I have a sister. She's still in college. And she just got back from Australia. She went abroad. And she went... Skydiving and bungee jumping, neither of which I would ever do, but like I, I get skydiving. I understand it because it's like, whoa, here's how it feels to fly. This is pretty cool. Bungee jumping is like, in case you're curious, here's how it feels to kill yourself. <laughs> At least if you're skydiving, you don't make it. You can die Velcro to a hot Australian dude. <laughs> Um, my sister and I are really, really different. Um, she is in a sorority, and she, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell what the heels on, but I'm actually 4'11 and 3 quarters. Um, so I'm not exactly Frank the Tank, is, is what I'm saying. When it comes to alcohol, my sister is the tank. Like, that's how much this girl can drink. And I went to visit her, and all of the girls in her sorority are like this. And they're just like the most dedicated, ambitious drinkers I've ever met. It's like, it's like really amazing. Um, and my favorite one of the sorority girls, her name is Kayla, and um, I was in my sister's dorm room, and I overhear this conversation, and they're like, you know, talking about the pregame and whatever is happening later on, and she's like, I am getting so fucked up tonight, like, I don't want to know my name. <laughs> No, like seriously, if you see me at the bar and you ask me my name and I know the answer, like get me a shot <laughs> immediately. And the other girl verbatim goes, no, I'm getting blackout tonight, you guys. Like, I want to lose my eyesight. <laughs> okay, you do that. You do that. You lose your eyesight. Um, so, oh, to give you a visual of what Kayla looks like, I would like you guys to try and imagine if Donatella Versace fucked a possum, <laughs> and then that offspring dressed up as Snooki. Sorry, Katie, this girl with the clip is in my peripheral so vision. So, we, we end up at a bar later in the night, and at this point, Kayla can no longer stand, so clearly it's time for shots, obviously, <laughs> and the bar is, like, packed. And so she's trying to get the bartender's attention by like holding money in the air. And I was like, well, first of all, all you have to do is show a nipple and they come right over. <laughs> Sign up my drink earlier tonight. Um, 
And I look over and I realize that what she has in her hand that she, she thinks is a $20 bill uh, is actually a tampon. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like if you're at the point that you're getting Playtex gentle flies confused with any form of currency, um, it's probably time to sit one out. I would say. You know? Take a water break. Um, and I just have this image of her just like stumbling into the bathroom later, just being like, oh my god, you guys, how did $20 get there? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> confront them about. Um, I, I had an afro as a child. I'm not talking Jufro. I'm talking Frofro. And a friend of mine was moving recently and was cleaning out her, her, um, her house and she sent me this picture and I knew it was bad but I didn't know that it ever got to this point. So to demonstrate the magnitude of what I'm talking about, I have gone to Staples so you just hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. This has been back here the entire time, and this is real. <laughs> You guys have been awesome. Woo! 